Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this particular video, we'll solve one more problem in which you need to compute the taxable income from profession of a doctor. So they have given the receipts and payments of a medical practitioner. So the left side is all your receipts and right side is the details pertaining to all your uh, payments. So they have given certain additional information. Let us look into the additional information. A cash payment of rupees 5000 was given to him by a patient. It is simply to mean, mean that it is a gift. So patient in the gift na koti darenta artha ashte. Next, one third of the motor car expenses relates to personal use. So he has a motor car. The complete motor car he is not using for his profession. In that one third is using for personal use. The remaining two third is used for professional purpose. Complete motor car only one third of the motor car na personal use ke bade stai thare. Older ta kantha two third of the motor car na profession goes kara bade stai thare. Next, the rate of depreciation on surgical equipment is fifteen percent. So they have only given the rate of uh, depreciation. Interest received is on bank deposits. So yeah, here they have given interest twenty thousand. That is received on bank deposits. So just ignore that. As in, I ignore Madi. Consider Mad Bedi. Audit fees include income tax appeal expenses of fifteen thousand rupees. So I think the right side there is an audit fee of twenty thousand rupees. Il not both the nevo twenty thousand rupees audit fees. So at twenty thousand only had nae the savera income tax appeal expenses ante. So consider Mad Beku. So with this information, we have to compute the taxable income from profession. So now let us try to compute. Have a three column particulars, amount and amount column. So first, let us add all the professional receipts. First, we all are itia professional receipts. Karna consider madana. Now, if you see the left side, balance brought down. Ignore balance brought down. Visiting fees. Visiting fees is sixty five thousand. Consider that visiting fees. Sixty-five thousand. Next, consultation fees is sixty-five thousand. That is also professional receipts. So I'll add that also sixty-five thousand consultation fees. Sale of medicines twenty-five thousand. It is also related to profession. So just add it. Sale of medicines. Next, operation theater rent. Operation theater rent is fifteen thousand. Consider that. That is also professional receipts. Interest, interest. They have told that it is on the bank deposits. If by interest on bank deposits comes under income from other sources, so do not consider that. Okay. Next is, let us check into the additional information. A cash payment of rupees five thousand was given to him by a patient, which is nothing but gift. Gift and the consider Marthi V. From patients, any gift the doctor has received, it is considered as, uh, what do you say? Uh, professional receipt only so 5000 i am adding so there is no any other details i think yes now add everything 65000 plus 65000 plus 25000 plus 15000 plus 5000 you get the total professional receipts that is 175000 that is a total professional receipt from this you will deduct all the professional expenditure or professional payments so for that you have to see the right side The first one is what? First one is clinic rent, fifteen thousand rupees. That is your professional expenditure. Clinic rent, fifteen thousand rupees. Next is staff salary. Staff salary is eighty thousand rupees. That is also your professional expenditure. Staff salary, eighty thousand rupees. Next, rent and taxes, five thousand rupees. That is also your professional expenditure. I'll write that also. Rent and taxes, five thousand rupees. Next, electricity and water charges, four thousand rupees. So your electricity and water charges four thousand rupees is also, it is an professional expenditure only. Next, purchase of medical books. So purchase of medical books is a capital expenditure, but depreciation on that is allowed. So purchase of capital, sorry, purchase of medical books. So let us check in the additional information whether they have given any depreciation rate. They have not given any depreciation rate pertaining to professional books. So when they have not given anything, we have to consider according to income tax rules the standard rate of depreciation is forty percent. That we will consider. 
so 4000 into 40 percent is 1600 next purchase of surgical equipments 30000 again it is a capital expenditure we will only give depreciation on that so they have given that the rate of depreciation on surgical equipment is 15 percent so 15 percent depreciation rate we will consider 30,000 into 15 percent will be 4,500. Next, motor car expenses 15,000. If you see the additional information, they have told that one third of the motor car is related to personal use, which means two third of the motor car is related to professional use. So, out of total 15,000 motor car expenses, only two third will be allowed. What to motor car expenses are profession ke two third matra hagage a two third matra nabu allow martivi which is ten thousand rupees next medical association membership membership fees so he is a uh, member of any medical association five thousand rupees is a membership fee that is also a professional expenditure or professional payment next audit fees twenty thousand rupees so total audit fee is 20,000 rupees. Idna ne vinnu chanagi represent maar bodo. Audit fee 5,000 rupees anta bardo. Income tax appeal expenses 15,000 rupees. Adna idara korte idara. Total 20,000 anta outer column pari bodo. Yekanre in the additional information they have given that audit fee include income tax appeal expenses of rupees 15,000 only. So this is bifurcation of the bifurcation of the evaluator. So, 20,000 rupees. Next, staff welfare expenses is 2,000 rupees, which is an allowable. So, staff welfare expenses 2,000 rupees na allow Mart TV. Next, Diwali expenses. So, he has celebrated Diwali in his clinic, which is allowable. Next, Entertainment expenses 12,000 rupees. As a doctor, he also requires certain entertainment. So, whatever the expenses he has incurred for that entertainment, that is allowable 12,000. Next, medicines purchase, medical purchase is nothing but uh, medical medicines purchased. So, medicines purchased is also related to his profession only. So, that 30,000, whatever the medicines he is purchasing, that is allowable. Next balance carried down so balance carried down is 77000 just ignore the balance carried down now if you add everything so from here 15 15000 80000 5000 4000 1000 6000 4000 500 10000 5000 20000 2000 1000 12000 and 30000 you will get the total professional payments that is 1,90,000 rupees you will get total professional payments that is 1,90,000 rupees so your professional receipts was 1,75,000 from that, if you subtract 1,90,000, you will get minus 15,100. You will get minus 15,100. It is considered as professional loss. If income is more expenditure is more than the income. So, if you professional loss, 15,100 rupees is a loss. So, show it in the bracket. So, this is how you need to solve the problem. Hope you have understood how to solve this problem. In my further videos, I'll come back with some more problems related to income from profession of a doctor.